What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to create your custom palette in Procreate. Now there's three different ways you can create a custom palette in Procreate and I'm going to break this video up into three parts so that way you have three ways to create a custom palette in Procreate. So let's go. One way to create a custom palette is by doing it manually. So let me go up here to this little circle over here in the corner and that's where I can get all my colors from. And at the bottom there's a selection for palettes which I already have selected. And the palette I have selected is what I normally use for my skin tones. And to help fill that entire palette I just included some basic colors in case I needed to like sketch in something or whatever. But a way to do it manually is to click the plus sign in the top corner and you can select create new palette, create from camera, create new from file, or create from photos. So to create a custom palette manually you hit create new palette. Then there's going to be a new palette that pops up at the top, which you can then rename. So right now I'm just going to rename it Tutorial. So to put colors into this palette, what you can do is tap and hold anywhere on your canvas. Then there's going to be like a little circle that pops up. And whatever you hover over will be the color that's selected. So I'm going to use this red here. And then once that's selected, I'm going to lift my pencil off the screen. And then in the top corner where that circle is, that means that red that I selected on the canvas, that's now selected and ready for me to paint or do whatever. But in this case, we're just putting it into a palette. So all you got to do is tap one of these squares into your palette. And then that red is inserted. And you can do the same thing with all the other colors as well. So I'm going to do that with a couple of these real quick. So I'm going to tap and hold. And then once I hover over the color that I want, I just lift my pencil off the screen. And then in the top corner where that circle is, that means that yellow is selected. So now I can put that into my palette and I can just put that anywhere. And now I'm going to select this green by doing the same thing. And put it in the palette. And then we can do the same thing with the black. So tap and hold, lift, and into the palette. But of course, if you're not satisfied with the order of the colors in your palette, what you can do is tap and hold any of these squares and just move it around, however, and it reorders it. So I'm going to move this back by doing the same thing. And there. And then a way to delete your swatch would be to take your pencil and tap on the swatch that you want to delete. Tap and hold it. Then there's going to be a little window that says delete swatch. So you're going to click that and it deletes it. And then just bring that back. All you have to do is select the color again, which I've already done, and tap it back in place. So that's one way to create a custom palette. So now let's move on. Another way to create a custom palette would be to do it from a photograph. So let's click the plus sign again. And we're going to hit new from camera. And we're going to use my iPad's camera to take a picture. So I'm going to click on new from camera. And then once you hit new from camera, it gives like a little color palette that gives you an idea of what the color swatches will look like after you take the picture. So I have another screen over here. I'm going to take a picture of the same image that I have loaded up onto my canvas already. So which is right over here. So I have my image loaded up and I'm about to take the picture here. But as you can see, all the colors that I used for the previous palette are not exactly the same as the colors I'm getting for this palette. Because as you can see, there are some grays and there are some yellowish greens. Because when I take this picture, two of the colors will like mix. Because let me go up here to this corner and there's some yellow and some red right here in the corner. And when you look inside the palette, there's some oranges and some orangey reds. So that's what I mean when I say these colors tend to mix into one another. So let me try to get all the colors inside of the palette and then I'm going to take the picture. And there we go. Based on the picture that we just took, Procreate created a custom palette for us to use. But obviously these colors aren't exactly accurate to what I have over here in my canvas. But we can change that. So let me hover over the yellow that I want. So I'm just going to do the same thing that we did before and I'm just going to go over to the yellow. And I have it selected in my little circle icon that we have up here in the corner. So what I'm going to do is tap on one of these swatches inside of this palette. I'm going to tap on the first one. And Procreate will give me the option to either delete that swatch or set the current color. The current color that I have just selected, which was this yellow, and I can set this swatch to that specific yellow by clicking set current color. And there we go. But if you're not like me and like to create artwork with lots of other specific colors, then this technique for creating a custom palette will work for you. And the last way to create a custom palette will be to do it from an image. So I'm going to hit this plus sign again. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom that says new from photos. 
So I believe that creating it from an image would be a go to new from file or new from photos. But the photo that I have that's similar to the one I have on my canvas already will be in my photos. The same process would work if you have it from a file. So you can use either one of these options to get a picture, but I'm gonna use a uh, new from photos. So I'm gonna hit that and go to my photos and hit the image that I want there to be a palette from. And see, it generates a whole nother palette for me. So just like creating a palette from a camera, not all the colors in this palette are exactly accurate, but I'll show you guys how to change those colors again. So I already have my specific yellow selected. I'm just gonna go over to one of these other yellows in the palette that we just created, tap and hold, then hit select current color, and it changes to that specific yellow. And there, those are three different ways for you to create your custom palettes here in Procreate. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.